What's up, you two, man? We back with college football, man. College football, man. Back. Hey, man, I'm excited. Even though just the spring game, just the spring games, you still got a while till we, you know, officially back. But, you know, got some football in, in, um, in April, man. So this is exciting. You know what I'm saying? Um, I feel like last year, my first year, you know, obviously still, I'm barely a year over, you know, doing just reactions, period. But was my first year, you know, reacting to college football. And I feel like I had a solid year, man. I feel like, you know, gained a lot of fans. And um, y'all know Ohio State's my squad, man. I'm still waiting on the, I, I got to go get the hoodie. You know, since the season, I ain't going to get the hoodie. So I got to go get the hoodie. So, you no, know, it's official by the time the season starts. I'm going to have a hoodie on by the time the season starts. It's going to be official. Going to have the Buckeye hoodie on every reaction. Um, but, hey, man. I ain't really did no off-season videos, nothing like that. But, boy, we didn't have an amazing off-season. Boy, I felt like we was getting a new uh, commitment every two days. I swear, for the 2024 and 2025 class, I feel like we was getting new commitments every day. And um, I'm excited about this class. And, and transfer portal commitments, too. I'm excited about this year, man. Um, and we got, like, we got, we got, I'm interested to see the quarterback battle, man. I've been, I've been hearing a lot about Julian saying. Uh, from Alabama that it came to us. I've been hearing a lot about him. They saying he could potentially take that starting spot as a um this year. You still got Aaron Nolan. I want I'm, I want to see Aaron Nolan, Will Howard, who's the veteran that came to us. Is he gonna get his spot took already, or is he gonna be able to win that job? Uh, Jeremiah Smith, you know, ain't got y'all know what he been doing. The freshman, the next generation. We got the, we just lost Marvin Harrison. We already got the next generational receiver. Like come on man, um. We got the running back from Ole Miss, like Caleb Downs. Can't forget about Caleb Downs on defense. The defense is going to be crazy. I'm excited, man. Let's get into it. The Ohio State football, football spring game. This year is longer than ever. So it is very fitting that on this spectacular April Saturday in Columbus, we here on Fox start our college football coverage. As hey, I heard. Yeah, like, now, let me know if I'm wrong. I think this was Ohio State first televised um, spring game or something as we ever have Ryan Day and the Buckeyes filing in. So here we go. This is your game format if you are at home. Uh, traditional scoring offense. Defense, six points for a touchdown. That's no traditional takeaway. Oh, that's how they get three points for a turnover. A three and out, they get three points. I feel like a three and out should be like two points, not the same as a takeaway. A sack is two forced punt. A forced punt is a three and out, right? I mean, three and out with fourth down, you punt. Or, you know, saying, oh, I want the Scarlet team right. to win, or I want the Let's great team it. to win. And here is what the scoring system looks like. Three for a takeaway. Three and out gets you three points. It's interesting well. to see what these teams do for their spring Kuhl games. I seen Ole Miss just did like a seven on so seven he game. Gets the first spotlight, and the second one is Will Howard, who battled for the starting quarterback spot at Kansas State. He understands the situation. Here we go, situation. Will Howard. And I think Experience. the one Chip Kelly is going to bring to this offense. Oh, man, I didn't even talk about that, man, the coaching staff. Um, we lost Bill O'Brien, and I think we I think we dodged a bullet by getting Chip Kelly. I think that was a much better hire as the offense coordinator. And, and I grew up off Chip Kelly. I don't know how old y'all is. You know, I'm still young, you know, young 20s. But I grew up when Chip Kelly was dominating at Oregon and stuff like that. So, you know, I'm very familiar with Chip Kelly and what his offense can do. So I love that hire. And I think the one thing that Chip Kelly is going to bring to this offense. And yeah, it's going to be is, fast paced, uh, too. Expanded run game now. Yep. The Ohio State's always had dynamic throwers. Now they have two of the best running backs in the country. You're going to see an expanded run game. Very business school of depreciating asset, Brady. Yeah, can, can I get a, a, a dictionary down here? I don't know. No, they're not tackling. They're not doing no tackling. Usually just the quarterback can be touched. Third down for Will Howard. Sack. The pressure did get there. And Buckeye fans, Coach Meyer, are going to hope to see that a lot this year from guys like Jack Sawyer. So we saw Lincoln Keenholz in the Lincoln Cotton Bowl in the back of Devin Brown. He's the guy that gets the second. I ain't going to lie. Unfortunately, Devin Brown and Lincoln Keyholes, bro, I don't think y'all got a chance at the starting quarterback job. I'm not going to lie. He's got a chance to be special. I feel like it's going to come down to Will Howard. And from what I'm so hearing, this is based on what I'm hearing. I feel like it's probably come down to Will Howard and, and Julian's hand. I'm waiting to see him. 
Devin Brown now gets the third series for Ohio State. The guy who has been here longest understands the offense probably. I swear, bro, I hate Devin Brown. In this. Right I, I, now, I ain't going to take too much because he might have a, a actual reason. You know, sometimes it could be somebody you honoring. You know, why he wearing number 33. Back, so Devin Brown in the offense but it's, it's just such an odd number to wear as a quarterback. Here. Coach, take me to, like, how you evaluate your guys, Will and, and Devin, in, in a thud tempo that, style. What are, you, what are you looking at? Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's tight. Schedule. And then also, like, how do they convert on third down? You know, and I think, like, right here, that's a big third down pickup. Get into the red zone, like you want to see how he's gonna react. Let me not that count you out, Brown man. Let me not count you out, Darren Brown. If you improve as a passer, I ain't gonna count you out as being a starter this year. Devin Brown ends up at the sideline. This defense, I think we've learned in the first couple series, that's Jaden Bonsu who took him to the paint. And now we see the depth of the quarterback room. Another Alabama transfer of Julian Sayan. Where are Nolan at? It off for TC Caffey. Third down for Zay and climbing the pocket and Jeez the walls Christ. collapse again, Joel. You saw Will Howard with his hands to his head. They're testing out the whole new communication system. Jeremiah Smith. There's a lot to talk about with the iPads over on the sideline as well and rules about that. And Marvin Harrison Jr. himself was one of those, certainly. Jenny, I was going to say, he looked very serious as you were standing there talking to a Mecca, and that's how all business he was. He just walked away because he had to put his helmet on. Obviously, the parents, the families are phenomenal, uh, but to then take them to the next level. What are you looking for today? Because you got some veterans, right? Emeka is not doing anything today. It's scary stuff. That's what allowed him to be you know, an NFL caliber wide receiver, too, is, is all the little things, how detailed he was. And he shares that and brings that to the way he coaches up these young men. Man, I'll you tell you, our running back duo is going to be scary. Back with, you know, Terry McLaurin and KJ Hill and those got Paris. Those guys, it just kind of all right, but I'll be here. I can't wait for the season, boy. I'll be here in all season. Y'all got all this just to lose to Michigan again. We gonna wax Michigan ass this year, boy. I promise. You. Oh my! Oh my! And Buka. And Buka, relax. I know all the all the Jeremiah Smith talk been going on. Hey, Buka, like, hey, don't forget. Who, hey, come on now, don't forget about me now. Another NFL receiver. Oh my! He gonna after this year he's gonna have a we're gonna have another first round NFL receiver bro and Buka's like that. Ball, that's this is tough. Every young player is selfish. Look at the extension. Ooh. If you have veteran players, oh, that's tough. My, my that's tough. Wow. Make a catch like that. I, I think I would be pretty selfish. <laughs> <laughs> Joel, you, you can your step leader. quarterback if you can you got receivers. I'm that's an NFL that, catch, bro. Right? Two feet in. Here, that ball's yeah, that's elite. Like that's away. elite. And then he goes up like that one-handed. What a remarkable staff changes. Uh, Joel, I believe you've got Chip Kelly in a moment here downstairs. Yes, sir. S standing with uh, Chip Kelly. Oh, he kept nice it. Run from Lincoln right there. So, Paul, when we talked about it a little bit, it was uh, it was intriguing. Well, that's it's uh, it's obviously a great fit because of the guy. former pupil ran over here and he he started barking calls. He said, "No, no more of that play." Pick. <laughs> wasn't working that was a good call by him there we go good decision by by his former quarterback fella. much more involved in defense and special teams as well yeah there's no question you you and I have talked about that I think you're exactly right I mean today's day and age the amount of time it takes and everything that's going on I just think it's so and free some of that time up and especially as your roster built right I mean the roster build like early December if you think about early December this is a good catch right there for you or any head man coach get this coach. interview off the screen man in today's day and age. You barely see the I damn field that, you know, here we've done that and that's been the support of so many people certainly the players coming back and the culture that these guys have continued to enhance from basically far sideline to near side offense sideline. they took the lead the pick oh my god that's exactly yeah that was a rough happened. throw who threw that one that's the freshman I ain't saying am I Sands a freshman, right? Yeah, he, I don't think he had played at Alabama yet. Sideline to near sideline. See that one's getting hit. Yeah, right that's back. a bad throw. That's that's a freshman throw. That's probably something he got away with in high school for sure. Basically, he's throwing this all look, he's already on the opposite hash mark of the fifty. And you throwing it all the way back across this way? Nah. This defense too good for that. that he's right on that pick. 
That's exactly Crib what it. happened. It's Crib it. off, and so this great defense Crib it. is second oh, damn, interception let him return all the way. in the ball game. They're going to blow it dead. That's a pick six. Jaylen I don't know why they blew it dead. That's a pick care, six. Though. He's going to the house That's a pick because six. he wants to. That whole side doesn't care. Look at him. All the great, all the great team down there. <laughs> Our defense is going to be crazy this year, man. And that was one where the wind might have knocked down a little bit, but it's just a tad late, too. And that's yep. something, that, again, you're accustomed to saying if it's a freshman out there, new offense. See? Yep. I mean, he's going to have to sit with that, right? He doesn't have a ton of experiences here at Ohio State, so that's that's his knowledge of what he did in this game. And now Jude Mitchell with the catch a moment ago, that for Patrick Gerd, and Lincoln Keenholds trying to drive him down under a minute. Here they've used a timeout, 24 seconds. Should be the final drive of this first half as this goes to David Adolph. His... I thought you'd get to that before I did. We're close. Is that another pick? That's right to a defensive player. It's Inky Jones. Jack Merrick, the tight end, stumbles out of his break. I'll be honest with y'all. Will Howard's going to be the starter. Spot. I could just tell just from watching this. He has the most experience out of everyone. It's only, I mean, I wouldn't even start Julian, the freshman. Give him a year to sit. And we ain't even got to see Aaron Nolan. I don't know where Aaron Nolan at. He must be hurt or something. We haven't got to see him at all. So we don't know how, uh, how, how he's looking. I mean, really, I think Will Howard probably the starter. We need a, it's gonna be a, a race for us. Who's gonna be the backup? In my opinion. On and that could be the freshman saying, or that could so be Aaron Nolan, or Lincoln, Devin Brown. Unfortunately, I think he he's slipping down that death chart, but possibly not, man. I, I don't know. Hell. But it also brings up you know depth that we've talked about, but also the veteran nature of who's having success. Not only I feel like you go with the experienced guy and Will Howard. Just especially to start the year off, man. Let Sands sit a little bit. I think Sands eventually becomes our starter, though. Just based off what I'm hearing. He, oh, so here goes Aaron Nolan. Okay, hold on. Touchdown. Touchdown. I don't know why Aaron Nolan just getting in. It's, I wonder if they plan on based on what they said on the depth chart right now. That's one thing I'm wondering. Uh, if they plan on based on how they sound the death chart. Stay for a while. You have to imagine. That's something right now, that would mean Aaron Nolan, like, you were here to be four through that uh, tradition. You started. Yeah, it was life, actually but. started in 2001 at Bowling Green. I just wanted to have. OK, Lincoln got a little, well, a little speed on him. Hazing, but you want to okay, also Lincoln? people earn their passage. You know, they, Lincoln, 10 to 17, 71 yards, you throw two picks. Let me see some Nolan. Six here. Hey, I love we a lefty too. Nolan for Jupe Mitchell. I love how um I love how all these guys decide to stay and compete. You have friends everywhere in this place, don't you? You know, in this era with transfer most of these guys, we got like five quarterbacks competing for this job, bro. Like most of these guys would have. Damn, this say four quarters, seven seconds. Damn, Fox, y'all got tired of doing the highlights or something? Oh, ah, damn. Where in this place, don't you? I do. I have uh, most of these guys would have once Julian Sand came. Jesus. Some of these guys would have Devin Brown would have like Devin Brown respect him for staying, saying he gonna compete. Aaron Nolan respect him for staying. Like most of those guys would have another program would have transferred out. You know, it's scared to compete nowadays with the transporter. You could just hop in the portal and leave so easily. People scared to compete back then. You had to compete because you if you transferred, you had to sit out a year. Now, now people is 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 is. They they stand and competing. How lucky are we that we I mean, I commend them for standing yeah, and competing. The through the season. But now that it's so Mercedes easy to get up and leave. Out on that Mercedes -Benz there go. This is the last play of the game. See if they if they score. If the, if Gray get a defense, they probably win. I mean, if they get a stop, they just won. They got a takeaway. Griffin, who was called for the penalty earlier, he wants to run all the way to Cleveland, and he's just going to keep going. For the win. The great For the win. Together That's tough. That's tough. Hey, thanks for watching. If hey, man, that was fun. Um, can't wait for the season, man. Ohio State fans, sub up right now. Hit the post notification bell. So once the season starts, y'all know when I'm dropping reactions to the um, to games and stuff. Well, I can't wait, man. Sub up now if you're an Ohio State fan. Like I said, hit the like button. Okay, we out.